our appropriate individual for this first personal genome project, uh, the ultimate type of self-knowledge. So please join me in welcoming Jim Watson to the podium, and we can hear his thoughts. I want to uh, congratulate uh, 454 and uh, uh, the Baylor College of uh, Medicine for uh, producing my genome. Uh, uh, I think it's a big feat uh, when Jonathan uh, came to uh, tell me he wanted to do it. Uh, uh, I didn't worry about really what the results were because I wasn't sure I was going to see any. So uh, <laughs> he was far more confident that, uh, than I. But uh, seeing it is uh, pretty extraordinary. Um, I I that. Thank you so much, Jim Watson. I have one last very pleasurable duty, which is in accordance with the ethical establishment of the data flow uh, model we've established for this project. Data have gone from Dr. Watson's circulating blood cells to 454 in Connecticut, where the sequences were generated, here to Baylor, where David Wheeler and his group have uh, done the analysis and compiled the uh, submittable data on this equivalent of a DVD. It's too much data. It's on a hard drive. <laughs> So I'm passing it back to Jonathan Rothberg at 454 Life Sciences so he can pass it on to Dr. Jim Watson, the first oh. personal genome. My Thank you. And with that, I close the proceedings. Thank you all for coming.